And now for something completely different. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Hat Shack. Our dryer started giving this F01 code, so I wanted to try to figure out how to fix it. The following is not a tutorial, this is my own repair experience. Any repairs you choose to attempt on your own are your own responsibility. I identified and removed the two screws holding the top on. They're quarter inch sheet metal screws. After I removed the two screws, I pushed back slightly and the top came off. I dusted things off a bit and removed this paperwork. I then started taking care to remove carefully the cabling hooking to the box seen here. There's an additional screw at the bottom here that holds this case in. I didn't want to risk dropping that down and having to fish it out, so I removed this top piece with these two screws here. That allowed me access to the screw on the bottom, then I pulled it toward the front and removed the box. I then released these clips and removed this top cover. Held back a few more clips and the board was released from the case. Ooh. You can see, look at that. Look at that, wow. On the workbench, I used some alcohol to clean all the charred material from the PCB. Then I used a flux pin on the solder joints I was gonna desolder. I then added some fresh solder to one of the larger joints to make it easier to remove then use the desoldering pump to remove these joints. This one pin was being difficult, so I applied some heat while pulling gently to finally release the relay. I then cleaned up things a bit more. Look at how this portion of the trace was completely blown away. It was then when I suspected that the relay may be okay, so I cleaned off the scorched pin and I went ahead and scraped away some of the solder mask so I could expose some good copper to make a connection with. So I was going to try to reuse the original relay. Then I went ahead and soldered the original relay back into place, making sure on the blown out section to really make a good solid joint that would make contact with that freshly exposed bit of trace that I scraped the solder mask away from. At this point, I started the process of partially reassembling and connecting things up, but not fully bolting things in place so that I could test to see if this worked. Basically putting all the cables back where they were and essentially kind of putting the box in place but not having it fully installed. And at this point, I held it in place with the power applied and it looked like we were good to go. After that good test, it was essentially just a task of putting things back together in the opposite order of how they came out. Putting all the bolts back in place, securing the box, and preparing to put the lid back on. The cover was put back on and secured in place. And now for the final test to make sure we had this problem licked. And it looks like we got it. We've done a few loads since then and we've had no problems so far. So in the end, I didn't actually need a new relay. I could have left the relay in place, cleaned things up a bit, scraped back that solder mask and done a fresh solder joint for that one bad pin and I would have been back in business. So that's something to keep in mind should you run into this error. I think a lot of people have changed relays unnecessarily and just in the process of changing out the relay, they redid that bad solder joint. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you again next time.